Greetings from Great Bear Island, where the air is crisp, the fresh snow sparkles, and strange glowing wolves are slowly circling your home. I am your host, Robert York, and I'll be taking you through the midnight hour to the early morning, or until the aurora finally flares out, whichever comes first. This is my latest transmission into the ether in a vain hope to finally reach another human being and bring an end to my sophistic existence. If you want to reach me, I am deep beneath the mountain military installation in a subterranean cyclopean labyrinth of steam tunnels. I am surrounded by leaking pipes that have grown cancerous and the strange phosphorus materials that have collected in frozen pools beneath them. Down here I have found one single haven of warmth, a disused bathroom with an easily barricaded door. Logically, I know I have nothing to fear in this abandoned maze, but even as I speak into this microphone, I finger this sharpened leg from an abandoned vanity set, for it gives me comfort against a horrifying conclusion. Something is down here with me. I have not seen it nor any sign of its passing, but it is here. So if you come looking for me, watch out for the beast. And now a public service announcement. The Desolate Point Whale Watchers are on a recruiting drive. They would like to remind everyone that a fair number of buildings are still lit by whale oil, and until we finally get those crystals that can directly harness Aurora energy, the Quonset Garage will still need oil, and that means we need whales. So if you have some spare time, why not go out with the Desolation Point Whale Watchers and spend some time watching for these majestic creatures. Their long and supple forms, their peaceful and ancient songs that they sing as they perform their many daily activities such as eating krill or performing a slow underwater ballet and a subtle social interaction that hints of higher intelligence. Hopefully, that will be quickly followed by the sickening thunder of a harpoon impaling one of these leviathons. Those who help haul it to shore will be paid with 10 kilograms of raw whale blubber. You can't beat that with a stick. Whales are just too big. You really need to use the harpoons. This has been a public service announcement. And now letters from the listeners. I found a letter here from a listener, I think. Or maybe I just wrote it earlier and I forgot that I ever created it like so many of the previous letters. This one is from a young lady named Beth to a gentleman named Cogsworth. Cogsworth, I want to burrow into your chest and lay my eggs. Love, Beth. I'm not up on teen slang these days, but it sure seems that Beth has the hots for Cogsworth. You'll have to stay on your toes, mister, if you want to stay single. Now that said... It's difficult to understand what other people feel about us. We exist as frightened creatures evaluating our self-worth based on what other people think about us. We have found it's best to assume that people think the worst about us, and thus, we are all pleasantly surprised when we discover that someone actually wants us for who we are. 
So to you, Cogsworth, my advice is go for it. You never know where a relationship may take you. And the road not taken is the road that will haunt you. Haunt you until your dying day. Fill you with regret and poison all of your future relationships as you measure them against an impossible to reach theoretical ideal that exists only in your head. I recommend a dinner and a movie. Just test the waters a little. Then, if you choose to get serious, follow it up with flowers, chocolates, and promises you don't intend to keep. This has been Letters from the Listeners. And now a word from our sponsor. Touch your forehead to the glass. Press it hard. Stare. Gaze with wonder. Tremble in fear at the low, low, low prices within. Announcing the buyout of the abandoned Orca Station, which has been joined into the Quonset LLC family. This Friday, it will reopen under its new name, Orca X. The X stands for extreme. We are slashing our prices on taxidermy equipment and supplies. We are slashing our prices on petrified animal carcasses. We are slashing everything. Our prices are insane. Our prices have chewed off their own manipulative digits right down to the twitching bloody stumps. Our prices are gibbering due to the mind-numbing loneliness. Consume. 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 Support small town businesses. Think globally. Act locally. Shop Orca X now if you know what's good for you. This has been a word from our sponsor. A message from the Great Bear Island Postal Service. The local post office has announced a change in their offered product. Return receipt requested. From now on, If you're not present when the package is delivered to your home, it will be left on your doorstep. A large vulture will be released, and it will ascend into the sky to slowly circle about, far too high for the unaided eye to perceive. When you, or anyone for that matter, touches the package, the vulture will descend rapidly and strike like fiery vengeance from an offended demiurge. The vulture will then tear out exactly one, and only one liver. Then, it will return to the post office, where it, your liver, will be sent back to the original sender as confirmation the package was received. This has been done for your convenience and to improve your postal service experience. The Great Bear Island Postal Service. We don't go postal anymore. Everybody's dead. This has been a message from the Great Bear Island Postal Service. And now business news. I'm afraid it's no longer a rumor, folks. WheatCo has finally closed its doors for the last time. WheatCo, creators of centralized wheat, produced and installed pneumatically delivered faucet-based wheat systems so you could have wheat available on tap, conveniently located right at your kitchen sink. Alas, despite federal bailout money, the Aurora has caused all installed centralized wheat systems to violently kill anyone who activates them during an Aurora event. WheatCo has been unable to retool for any other pneumatically delivered product. Attempts to convert to other substances such as mashed potatoes, iron filings, or ectoplasm have all met with either insurmountable technical problems or lukewarm customer interest. The CEO was quoted as saying, We just can't generate enough interest in our new products. We think it's because we can't get a viral video thing going. The firm that we hired to handle our rebranding apparently used an actual virus and wiped out our entire target demographic. Our target demographic, by the way, were people who will lick anything at least once and people who don't know how to read a credit card statement and thus wind up paying their monthly bill without verifying if any of the charges are legit. Also, I'm dead. I froze to death. Snap out of it, Rob. You're hallucinating again. The closing of WeCo has resulted in the layoff of the entire workforce of 12 individuals and one collective consciousness. They can expect to receive up to six months of unemployment insurance. You have six months. Six months. You have to find a job 
in six months. This has been Business News. And now the weather. It's going to be cold. This has been the weather. Well, by the sight of the light that creeps into the broadcast booth, fighting against the aurora in spurts and thrusts across the floor, I can see that our time is about to come to an end. As you struggle to wipe the sand from your eyes, and the dawning realization that you have survived another night seeps into your brain, I ask you this single question. Do you really consider this a good thing? Until next Aurora, keep surviving survivors.